hey guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me today so it's not often i come on with my eye look already created but i've just done this video for youtube where i've done this eye look i want to talk you through it and then we're going to shop my stash that's why i'm on here normally i don't come on kind of face first or glammed up to do my shot my stash normally we just dive into the product so so bear with me guys it's not going to take too long i just wanted to show you what i've used so first of all guys i took this colourpop high tide palette that karen sent to me i think it was last year now it would have been and it looks like that um and when i used it initially i didn't really like it that much because obviously i used it all i really like this top row here um the darker shades i wasn't that much keen on um especially this shade down here and i don't think i like that shade too much mixed in with a darker shade but it is a really really pretty shade i think it would go really really nicely um with like neutral brown in your crease um or even just this shade here um, mixed in with a little bit of this that's what I've done today so I went in with just a splash first as a transition shade and then I mixed it with currants you can tell I like currants it's got such a huge dip in it and this is only the second time of me using it I used it three days three looks for the actual time that I used it um, but obviously you know that is quite a big dip for only using it four times or however many times I used it with this palette um, I might have used it to blend the rest of the darker shades out, I'm not sure now because it's been such a long time. So anyway, um, yeah, so we went in with those. You'll see all this on YouTube Shorts anyway if you've been keeping up with my YouTube Shorts. If you haven't, I'd really love for you to go over and check them out. Then she also got me this Colourpop Wave Breaker palette. It's so pretty. So you're getting two Super Shocks in here. I'll just tell you the shades right so you get I'll tell you this one first so you're getting the Colourpop coconut super shock shadow and that's a satin one um, it's so pretty guys so that's what it looks like so I put that in the inner corner and the outer corner to create a halo eye look at that look at that Naomi <laughs> um, I don't know anyone else who likes blue leave me a comment if you like blue and then i'll shout you out in the next video that i use blue in of course um so the next one is this kind of i'd call it turquoise i'm sure you guys have another name for it it's called sure thing which looks like that i just love the packaging of these ones um and then this one looks like that it looks really really similar to my nail polish and then this one is in the center so that's both of the super shocks let's put these back wrong way around and then i went back into the palette it's on my lap so i went back into the high tide palette and i went in with flora for the lash line which i think looks really really nice and then I went in with free floating as an inner corner highlight um, and I noticed it was a little bit darker than I wanted it so it gave me the opportunity to use this Stila um, White Lies eyeshadow liquid I've got um, and it's in the shade Mint Myth I have noticed though by using it today it's like halfway down I've not used half of this there's no way I have I think it's evaporating do these things evaporate? or is it just something i've made up um please let me know in the comments down below if you've got these in your collection and if you've noticed that although you're not using it um it looks like there's quite a lot missing from it i have used it a few times don't get me wrong but i haven't used half of it there's no way i'm surprised it's not dried up because those things dry up really really quickly um and then for lip gloss I thought I'd use this I wish it was a little bit cooler to be honest I could have gone in with my Dirty 30 by Huda Beauty but it's too brown for this look I feel like um, so this one is in the shade Petal I do want to get a more cooler nude from the range if they've got one um, but yeah I really really like it it, it is really really thick um, it's, it's not sticky at all as well um, so yeah I'd really really recommend these 
so I want to get a few more for the collection and I don't even like lip gloss so without further ado guys I've been talking a really really long time but I did want to show you what I'd used I want to say thank you again to Karen for sending me those products I really really do appreciate it and they both will be staying in my collection I know that you said that if I didn't like the high tide palette I could give it away but I'm not going to do that one it's from you and I don't like giving gifts away and two I feel like I've managed to make it work now so yeah I do want to be using that more um so now we're going to go over to my vanity which is just behind me there um I have had a little bit of a switch around so you'll see that as we go through my collection and I'll tell you about it as we go along as well but yeah without any further ado guys let's head over to the vanity table now hey guys so i just got a notification do you know on that short video that I was telling you about the one with colourpop high tides and colourpop wave breaker i've literally not even had it up half an hour it's doing really well so far it's got first 24 minutes it got 1k views that's really really good because the other video I put up, um, the five minute look that I did, I've only got two two looks that I think are five minutes or above. Um, it took a while to get that 1k views and <laughs> I've had my first comment on it. Oh my god, it's absolutely a joke. I don't know why people are like this, I, I seriously don't. I don't know. Um, I'm going to see if I can find it. I'm not going to show you his name. Yes, it's a male. He obviously got out of bed the wrong way. Um, right, comments. There's two on here and he's just put... I don't know if I, if he's commented before, um, but there's no picture of him. And he's just put ew on the eye look that I created. Now, obviously, if you go to that short video, you're going to see the comment. I'm not doing this to spread hate, but I mean, at the end of the day, there's no picture of him on his profile. And he's commenting on other people's picture. Ooh. I mean, is he a makeup artist or what is it? I mean, anyway, we're going to we're gonna leave that there and we're not going to complain about it because it is a shot my stash video. Right, let's move these brushes in here. I'll get rid of them later. I think they're not washing anyway. Um, so, let's go into the drawers first. So, it's not been that long this time, guys. It's only been three weeks. I think what I'm going to do with this one is on Sunday, put it on my Patreon first as a first access. Um, and then a week later, I'll put it on the main channel. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, what are we going to do here? We'll talk about this first. So I recently said I wasn't too sure about this. Becca backlighting priming filter. I, I don't rave about it as much as everyone else does. Um, I feel like it's okay. It's very hydrating. Um, it is like kind of light reflective. But yeah, I feel like with myself, um, I don't always like what everyone else does. I, can, I feel like I can get a drugstore option to that quite easily so that's going back in the collection this is going back in the collection absolutely adore this i've had it years at this point but it's still okay it's a ps strobing highlighter cream um this yeah i think we're gonna put this back i did use it once i would have liked to have used it more but we'll put it back it's the mua blushed tutti frutti i'm gonna keep this one in i think um, I'm really really liking it I've, I have only used it a couple of times as well what I noticed with the blushes I didn't pull the right shades of blushing so I need to be more mindful of the palettes I'm pulling in and try and get blushes to match it I mean I made it work for the three weeks but I would have liked more kind of I don't know like dusky like more blushes with it kind of like a brown tone in them is what i'm saying i pulled too many blushes out that were the same so there's this disney color one this one is well they're both alice in wonderland and this one is mad hatter so it's got a face and a lip i never used a lip i used the face a couple of times on that and the same with this one um this one is in tongue so they're going back really enjoyed using them I 
feel like I should keep this in. I used it a couple of times, but I really enjoyed using it. It's what Courtney Shanice Reviews sent to me as friend mail. It's really, really nice. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in the shade when the nude strikes. So let's keep that in. I didn't use this. So I think I'm going to keep that in. That is actually a blusher, believe it or not. And I think I got this in Shab's giveaway. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to keep that in. Um, I feel like I want to keep this in as well. So it's the Revolution Fast Base Concealer in C1. Guys, there's literally barely anything here. So it's just the, the concealer. Um, this time I'm going to try and just do it for two weeks, this shot my stash. I think a week is too soon. I think two weeks plenty of time to get to know the products. Um, so yeah. These ones I haven't used, so I haven't used this Colourpop one, that one is in the shade Copperfield, that'll stay in. I haven't used Hanky Panky, that'll stay in. I want to test them out before I do the rundown of least favourite to favourite Colourpop Super Shocks. And then this one in Empire, I think I'm going to be able to use it when I do my Multichrome Monday. It's the last Tip Mask Cosmetics eyeshadow we'll be testing. And it's more of a blue, I think, um, but I feel like this will be a good base to go on underneath it. Um, and then we can put them back. They're just like Project Pan brow products. So that's it for that drawer. Right, so let's have a look at these. So I really thought I'd be decluttering this. I actually really, really like it. I wore it yesterday and I'm wearing it again today. Absolutely love it, guys. It's Heaven Chew Highlighter in the shade Kitten. I thought it would be too dark. I mean, look at it. It looks too dark, but blended in, it looks so, so nice on the cheeks. I mean, you can even see how it, how it looks on the hand there. Blended in, it looks really, really nice. I'm going to put it back. Because I know that I want to keep it. I'm glad I want to keep it because it was too expensive not to. Right, so this is Project Pan, so we don't need to talk about that. So we've got a Christian Dior blush. I didn't use it that many times. I think maybe twice. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that, guys. That was just my sister. Right, so um, this Dior blush... We were just talking about that. I think I used that once or twice. I'm going to pop it back. It's a really nice punchy pink one. Um, then this Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter. It's in Goddess of Love. How original, right? Um, we're going to put that back as well. This Revolution Bronzer in Long Weekend. Really loved using this absolutely stunning but it's going back um this glowish by huda beauty powder can go back we'll use a different finishing powder for the upcoming week that's staying in this doll beauty highlighter can go back it's in like a diamond got quite a big dent going on here no pan visible but a big dent this Beauty Bay Coral Blush, I almost want to keep it in, you know, to go with that um, Golden Hour Tower 28 blush. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put this one back, this Too Faced Papadon Peach. I used it a couple of times. It's really, really nice. Still love it. I'm definitely going to keep this Patrick Tar one in. I used this probably more than any other blush in my collection. Um, but I've still not gathered my thoughts on it. So we're going to keep it in for the next rotation. Then we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. I'm not going to, I'm not going to show it to you. Just purely because um, it's in Project Pan. Then we've got this Ofra Highlighter Palette. It's the Ofra Glow Signature Palette. So I used those two mainly. I don't think I used any of the others actually. I'm going to put it back. 
then we've got the bronzer so we've got the elf putty bronzer absolutely adore it guys it's in the shade tan lines just watch this look at that dip just here um it's going back i'd love to keep it in but i want to focus more on my chanel bronzer so that's that i think i want to put them back before we go on top there so let's pop them back um. Right, so then I need to go into my bigger collection. Right, so on top, let's just right so what shall we do first we'll bring the foundations down so so this catrice true skin hydrating foundation i would highly recommend it if you can get your shade they don't have the best shade range this one is in 002 neutral ivory i didn't think it was my shade um, but i've used it several times this month and yeah i really really enjoyed it so that can go back um, I think this one's staying out. I'm not sure about it, guys. A few times it's pilled um, when I put it on, but I think it's got more to do with the fact um, of the cream that we're using before I put this on and maybe the serum as well. So it's 17 Glow is Everything CC Cream. Let's keep that in. This one is also being kept in. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory. It's a little bit too deep. Um, we're coming to the end of it. This one is not a little bit too deep. It's a lot too deep, guys. It's a gorgeous foundation as well. It's the Uma. It's in the shade 1, Adjustable Coverage. Um, it does say Use Sparsely, which I did. I put, it, I put another foundation in with it to lighten it a little bit. It's in the shade Fur Lady T2C. They've also got one in T1C in look fantastic and it is on sale i'm not tempted to buy it just purely because it does it looks a couple of shades lighter than this it doesn't look like it's my shade either so obviously we're gonna keep it i'm not gonna declutter it but it's i mean let me show you what really is my perfect shade That one works for me. I think the other one's in the front room. I think Katie um, used it last week. That one works for me. Can you see just how dark they are? I don't know if, if you can see on camera. Let's turn the light down. Yeah, you can definitely see now. It's just too dark guys but I can make it work by mixing um, concealer I think I'm gonna put this concealer back and I think we're just gonna keep the concealers that are in the drawer there I don't think I'm gonna pull anything else actually yes I was I was gonna pull some elf ones that I've got uh, powders so this Fenty Beauty powder can go back. I absolutely love it, guys. I've just tried it today to use all over the face. Normally, I just set my under eyes. Um, it's in the shade Butter. I, I really like it all over the face. Um, it's just a really beautiful powder. So we're going to put this somewhere. Um, I'm running out of room. This one is going to stay in. It's Project Pan. I can't wait to use it. We've still got so much left of it though, so it won't be for a while. So it's the collection Sheila's powder in the shade Barely There. Don't know if that's picking up. Um, the bronzer that I want to focus on this upcoming rotation is the Chanel bronzer um, for the next two weeks. I am going to bring in a powder as well. This one is my Poreless Putty Primer. Um, and I'm doing quite well with it. There's there's definitely a dip there guys this one is the only poreless primer I've got so it's kind of in project pan as well unofficially um, what are we doing now? are we doing palettes already? 
think so. I'm going to show you in order that I did them and I'm going to try and get your looks but because I'm not on Instagram at the moment I might find it hard to get them so first of all um, I did some looks with the Natasha Denona pastel palette that my friend kindly gifted me I mean how beautiful is that palette it is absolutely stunning part of me wants to use it again I think I'm going to keep it in front of the rotation I don't often do this do I guys but I feel like I'm not going to be bringing that many palettes out because I'm doing I feel like I'm not going to be bringing that many palettes out just because um, I'm only doing two weeks of shot my stash three weeks at the most but I'm only going to be fetching another two eyeshadow palettes out I think so I feel like I can use this so let's leave her in um, then I feel like I used no I used Beauty Bay Love Notes because you voted for it so yeah I used Beauty Bay Love Notes second oh my gosh guys it is absolutely stunning I did some stunning looks the only ones that I didn't like was with these red tones down here but other than that it's absolutely beautiful and I feel like yeah I'll be using this a lot and I might even bring it out for Valentine's Day next year and um, use it then as it is a Valentine's Day palette then we went in with subculture so that's that one I do want to do a is it a dupe between this one and a revolution palette I've got but I don't know when I'm going to get around to doing that so that's what that one looks like this shade here electric I've got an eye look that I did and it looks absolutely stunning everyone that I've sent it to like my friends have said that it looks stunning they may be a bit biased but yeah they really really liked it um the only thing i don't like about this palette is it doesn't have enough shimmers for me in it it's got a lot of like mattes in it and it's only got three shimmers and this one here you couldn't put that all over the lid it's an inner corner highlight in my opinion um and then we've got electric and also adorn and then the rest so then the rest 13 mattes i mean 13 mattes in a palette guys that's just crazy is it not um but yeah i really really do like it and i'm glad i've got it as part of the collection this one every time i bring out this palette will get used and i just know it and i'd find it really easy to hit pan on that like in my opinion with this palette guys i don't think it's a bad palette everyone was going crazy with this palette weren't they saying how bad and how patchy and how powdery it was but that's abh formula for you in general i find the mattes genuinely are a powdery hot mess aren't they so yeah i do like it um this one however oh my gosh um i wish i'd never bought it i love 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 the packaging it's absolutely stunning um I managed to create a really nice look on day one with these and then on day two it was okay but we, we were slowly going downhill guys and then on day three I hated that look um but yeah you'll get to see that I was thinking about not actually putting it up I was thinking about maybe not putting this look up here we have to put our um eyeshadow mistake eye looks up I feel like to learn um so yeah it has gone up well it's not gone up yet but it will go up and um i don't think i'd use this row again i mean the browns the deeper browns are okay it's but it's when it gets to velvet one um and this shade would be all right with some of these like more cooler warmer shades i feel like because it is a really really nice shade i mean look how nice it is but some of the shades i just don't like is it a write-off as a palette no i don't think so um but I just didn't do the best looks with it, I don't think. So that's probably my fault as user error. So guys, you'll get to see the looks when I actually put it up on YouTube and you can make a decision whether it was a good look or not. But I, I don't think it was. Um, so I think it's just like lipsticks and stuff now. Shall we make a decision on what 
I'm keeping out and what I'm not. Right, so, oh no, it's not. Sorry. So I used this today. We already spoke about this in the intro, so I won't go too much into it. So we use this shade first, which is called Coconut and then Sure Thing. And those are the two swatches, like I said earlier. Really, really like this. That's going back in the collection. Um, and then I used this Steeler. What's it called? Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Mint Mist. I want to keep that out and I want to continue to use it before it dries up. Right, so I want to, I didn't know whether I'd be keeping this, I want to put that back in my lipstick collection. It's a, it's a PS Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon, so that's going back. I didn't use this. So this is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bay. If I did, it was only one time. I'm keeping that out. I'm going to put this back in the collection. It's the Kylie in the shade Kristen, so that can go back. Um, I think I'm going to put this away. I'm not too sure what lipsticks I'm pulling for this time because I'm not too sure of the palettes yet. Um, so this is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Soap. That can go away. This one can go back in the collection. I've used this a few times this month. Um, it's from Tracy from Palettes, Palettes Perfume and Panning. She kindly gifted it to me. So it's in the shade Cherry Tart. Absolutely beautiful, guys. The only issue I've got with this, and it's not even an issue really because I can blot it, is, is really creamy and it's more of a satin lipstick I would say. And I prefer matte lipsticks, but yeah, I can actually blot it and make it more mattified. Um, so this Mrs Kisses lip liner came with it as well. I've had to sharpen it. I'm going to leave this in um because i have been wearing it with every red lipstick i still haven't used this yet so i do want to try it um i'll leave that in as well we don't necessarily have to use it with this red lipstick we can use it with any so that's that i'm going to put this jeffree star um lipstick back in the shade tangerine queen don't think i'll be wearing that Actually, I think I'm going to be pulling the Jeffree Star palette out um, that I bought off Courtney Shanice Reviews, so I feel like that's going to go with that. So, yeah. And I feel like I want to keep this one in as well. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury in Lush Cherry. Didn't really use it a lot, but it's a perfect spring-summer shade. Um, then we've got two... Whoops. We've got two Wet n Wild lippies. So we've got Wine Room, let's put that back, and then we've got In The Flesh, which is just a nude, let's put that back. Um, I'll put this in my lip liners, so it's the Luritzi in the shade Retro Red. Um, that came from the giveaway by ShabXOX, that's a username here on YouTube. I'm going to put this away as well. In fact, shall I keep this out? Because it's a matte red lip, it's in the shade Red Carpet. I might leave that out. We'll put this one away though, this is my MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick, it's in the shade Ripened. That one can go away. And then this Revolution Pro in the shade Controversy, which is another gorgeous red. That one can go back. Um, how many can I choose? One, two, three, four. I didn't use this Kevin Aquan one. I don't know when I pulled this. I think I'm going to keep that in. That's my orange tone red. I'm just... Yeah, let's put the Jeffree Star one back. Let's put that back. And let's use this as my orange tone red to use with the Jeffree Star palette. Um, so, I think that's everything. So, I'm just going to pop all that away. And um, then we can go and shop my stash for the upcoming two weeks. Right, so I know you can't see it as much as you probably would like, but that's the best I can like get it 
to go into my drawers um, so I'll just show you what I'm doing um, so I think for primer I've been thinking about this pretty much all week somebody mentioned it on YouTube I think Lisa as well mentioned it from Ben and Penning and Beyond I'm curious as to see if it's the same um, but yeah this is the Spackle Hydrating Moisturising Under Makeup Primer it's, we've got about half left so yeah I want to use that and then foundations I've been thinking about this one so when I initially used it I didn't like it so it's the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover full coverage lightweight protective makeup with an SPF of 50 which is good right for spring and summer um, it's in the shade 095 light porcelain so it is my shade doesn't look like it though it looks a little bit deeper than I would normally go so I'm gonna pull that but I'm gonna pull another one just in case I don't get along with that so what shall we pull what have I not used right, so I've not used this in ages so it's the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour work with comfort serum SPF 20 010 light porcelain skin perfecting full coverage foundation that's just I think this is okay for me it's a bit pink and you see it's a bit pink but blended in yeah blended in that doesn't look too bad so we've got that one as well and should I pull see I can't fit too many in my um, storage unit I think that's it and if I don't like the way this sits if it really is too pink on me obviously we'll bronze it up anyway but if I don't like it then I'll think about decluttering it I did show you what foundation doing here that's already up on the channel now I don't know if you've seen it yet um, but yeah that's on the channel I'll link it to this video I feel like three foundations well we've got four really so we've got um, the wet and wild one as well which doesn't have much left that's project pan and then we've got this one as well so if this is a little bit too deep I'm hoping I can use the 17 one to lighten it up a bit so um, yeah that's those um, I'm just wondering no I won't need it I just thought to myself should I either pull this so this is a dupe for the Glossier Future Dupe so I could have even I could have either pulled that or I could have pulled the Future Dupe but I'm not going to um, so we've got foundations and primers there we need something like strobing um, I'm gonna use this everyone uses this as a primer um, so I'm gonna use this as well so this is the Hollywood flawless filter in the shade 2 um, so we'll use that I think that's the only one I want to pull then for bronzers guys I've been thinking about this um, the Natasha Denona bronzing glow I really like the bronzer I don't think I like the highlighter so let's pull that and shall we pull out the second one I don't normally do this but just wondering if I should maybe this one because it's got a blush in it as well and I wanted a blush similar to that last time and I did manage to have like a radiant blush like that in the Becca and which should have come out of the collection and I've not pulled it out I'll show you now this this needs to go back so I really really enjoyed spending time with this so that one is the radiant one which would have looked really really nice over that Ciate blush in there I don't know whether to keep it in just for that really I have really enjoyed using it right let's keep it in for another two weeks um so then another bronzer shall I do it or not I've, I've pulled another bronzer what am I talking about um powders then guys I think I'm gonna bring this one in as my finishing powder we've nearly finished it anyway so yeah for the next two weeks we're gonna focus on that loose powder I've 
been thinking about trying this Miracle Veil. It is a bit deep, um, so therefore I really should bring a back up. One that I know that is a tried and true. Which is this really, this is my favourite powder so we'll fetch this in as well. It's a bit excessive I know, um, especially as we've got a project pan one. Let's do this. Whoops, um, and I think that's it, is it? I definitely think it's it for this drawer, so let's go over to the bigger collection. Right guys, so for once I want to pull my palettes, so then I know what kind of colour stories I'm going for, so that will kind of tell me what blushes to pull and things like that, because I don't do it normally. So we're going to use this one, so this is the Colourpop in the limelight, it's just new in my collection. My sister bought it for me and it only came a few days ago. I've already done swatches on... A short video. Did I do swatches? I'm sure I did. Um, or maybe I just showed it. No, I did swatches and I wasn't, I wasn't, no I did swatches didn't I and I wasn't that blown away by it. So I'm hoping it looks better on the eyes than it did on my arms. So that's the first palette we want to pull or I want to pull should I say. Nothing out of there. And then I want to pull this mini breaker one. I'm going to show you what they all look like, which, let's be honest guys, we all know what they look like at this point. So, we're pulling three. Um, and then we're going to go down to the drawers. Right, so this is what the top drawer looks like after the declutter. I know it still looks very busy in here, and it is, to be honest. Um, but this is where the majority is. I'll show you the other drawer in a second. I stand by what I say, guys. Eventually, I just want one drawer of eyeshadow palettes here because we've got Colourpop here and a few other brands down there. Then we've got this here. And then we've got Huda. That's mainly Huda, I think, in there. Huda and Natasha Denona. We've got a few Natasha Denonas there, Juvia's Place and a few other bits and pieces. So I feel sorry from you get it sorry from giving you motion sickness. I feel today well not today, but I feel like I wanna pull this Makeup Obsessions Crystal Waves palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. And yes, it's another pastel palette. Um if I don't like it, I'm gonna give it away to the little one. She's not so little as she she towers over me Katie um, who you will have met if you've watched my 12 year old niece does my makeup um, but yeah they're the three palettes I want to use I'm going to show you what the other two look like when we're over at the vanity um, so let's pop them off to the side actually guys this is the bottom drawer so you see there's not much in here at all is there not um, I could probably quite easily declutter some more from that drawer there and put all of it in in that drawer but I don't want it to be too cluttered um, so we're just going to see um, how I get on and um, we're just going to leave it as it is um, so yeah let's go over to this top drawer here and pick out blushes and highlighters right so I haven't got a clue guys what I want I really like that one but I always get sorry wrong way I always get drawn to it more for the packaging than anything else I've used it recently maybe bring this in I was looking for like more of a mauve tone blush last time bring that one in this one I love Clinique blushes so so much and this one's pretty it's in the shade 01 ginger pop um, I've used that recently but I need to be using it again maybe bring this one in by essence and this one is in befitting can you see that or not just um, so that's free 
we've got that coral one still in the drawer we've got some cream blushes I feel like maybe just one more cream blush then oh and we've also got the um, Malika palette as well haven't we so I kept that one in um, so I put them ones back I really like this isn't that great for summer let's pull that really like this as well that my friend Karen got for me um, she's always buying me blush Ooh. don't know whether to pull one of these in as well actually shall we pull this one in I've not long used this either but I feel like that would probably go well with that sorry those two would probably go well together okay highlighters what are we doing um not that one because i've used that recently i keep looking at this but don't pull it um i'm going to use that one so this one is max beaming blush use that I feel like I want to pull some of these ones. This one would be a good one, Peach Diamond, because of like the pastels in, in that palette there. I think that would go. Shall I pull the blue one as well? Yeah, let's pull the blue one. That one's called um, Just Pearlescent Sheen. And then I'm going to pull a normal one, or what I consider normal. Oh, Becca, oi. Cookie. Um, benefit cookie, I think. Because I've not used it in a while. Right, so pulled everything from there. So highlighters and blushes. Right, so I've reorganised this. How much better does it look? So all my drugstore are here. And then all my high-end are here. Um, and then we've got the self-made palettes there. So part of me thinks, should I use this instead of the Malika one? Let's have a look. So this is Chloe's, by the way. See, I prefer the blushes in Chloe's, so in Malika's, sorry. But then I was speaking to Chrissy over at Creative underscore I because she went to TK Maxx and got some goodies. Um, and she got a Jaclyn Hill split pan. And I was just telling her about this, about how, how I've hit pan on it. I mean, are them blushes too pink to go with those? I think I might pull this next time. I think the blushes might be too pink to go with that eyeshadow palette and that eyeshadow palette. And that's why I brought something in like this. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I wanted to pull this this time. Yeah, we're going to pull this. So, what highlighters can I let go of? this one because there's a shade like that in there in the Huda one so that one can go I definitely want this one and I definitely want those two so that's what we're looking like so far so I just need to put those two highlighters back okay so let's get started so I've pulled everything out now that isn't a lipstick so we're gonna just 
don't know. Leave that out for the time being. Um, actually, I put cream on top. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing, can you? That's better. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so that bronzer and blush can go in there as well. I'll put that bronzer in there as well. This finishing powder can go in there as well because I don't think there's room anywhere else. I'm going to put this in the top here. Um, oh, this can go somewhere in here. Right, so now it's eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to... No, sorry, we've got a highlighter palette here. So this is the Huda Beauty one light glow obsessions i've had it ages guys but i've not had a lot of use out of it and what i was saying earlier is this pink one here is very very similar very close to that beaming blush i was going to bring out it's a, like a duo chrome highlight it's real real pretty it's that one there i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's real real pretty it's a pretty palette but i haven't really gathered my thoughts on it and it must be coming up to a year since I ordered it. I think I ordered it around the, f the time it was first released. Um, so I definitely need to gather my thoughts on it. Then palettes. I feel like there's not a lot here, but we've not done lipsticks yet. So we've got this beautiful Colourpop in the limelight. Um, which again mirrors the outer packaging. It's beautiful, right? Um, so let's turn the light down so you can see it in all its glory. Um, yeah, very, very pretty. Those shades especially and that shade down there. So I definitely want to do three days free looks with this palette. Guys, um, do you prefer three days free looks or would you prefer a short video? because i've been noticing the short videos are doing quite well would you prefer me to actually do them on camera and you you see a long ass video or would you prefer to see them in my shorts just leave me a comment down below so i know what you want um so next up we've got the mini break palette this one looks absolutely gorgeous and courtney actually asked me if i was going to do a look with it hell yeah i'm going to do free um Oh yeah, I'm going to do three looks with it. I mean, look at that. How many shimmers is there? Three. Yeah, so we'll do three days, three looks with it then. That shade there is definitely my favourite. Right, so let me know what kind of look you want me to do first. Orange, purple or pink? Because we could do a pink look. And I think I'm going to put these on a poll and just ask you guys which one you want to see first. Um, and then the last one is we've got this Crystal Waves palette. Which looks absolutely stunning. This shade in particular looks stunning. It's called Mother of Pearl. And that's a duo chrome. I think it's more an inner corner highlight, but it looks absolutely stunning. I probably only do three days, three looks with this as well. Maybe four. Maybe I'll do four days, four looks, and, I, and on the last day go in and do like some kind of rainbow eye with the mats. Um, so yeah, I haven't like figured it out completely. Well done, Andrea. <sighs> Let me check the power. Yeah, it's still alright. Let's 
Right, let me take you over to my lipsticks and we'll choose some lipsticks. Oh no, we've got to put these away. Sorry. No more creams are going to go in that top drawer, I don't think. Right, we've got a lot going on here. Um, yeah, so let's go and grab some lippies. Right guys, so if you follow me on YouTube Shorts, you will have seen this already. I recently changed it a few days ago now. So I'll just go through it with you. You've got my high-end there, lip liners, eyeliners at the back, my NYX lingeries in that skull glass there, my Tink Tinkerbell lip gloss of course had to be on show there. And then we've got nudes here. So we've got like bullets, there's lip crayons, and there's this really dark like matte liquid lipstick just because I didn't know where else to put it. So that's those. So these are all drugstore by the way. Um, then we've got kind of all the kind of funky colours going up here. Um, but they're pretty much nude so I've put them all together. And we've got some more lip crayons here, some lip glosses. It's like various different things really. Um, then we've got my reds here. So I do feel like I want to try this one again not used it in ages I think it's called Orange County but I did I have got an orange haven't I I want to try it because I might not like it and if I don't like it it can get decluttered don't know if it's still good do I need any more reds there's a matte one this one ruby red which I really really like I'm gonna pull that and put it behind just here we're going to go through this I'm going to show you the layout in a second so that's we're good there for reds I think we've got another three spaces yeah um so hang on a second right so what's in here This is nice for this time of year. It's one of those tingling lip crayons. It's by Sleek. It's in the shade Colossal Coral. I don't even have to look at the name because I really, really like that. Um, and then I've got another Free Spaces. I want to use this one. So this one is in the shade Soft Spoken. Really, really like that one new one as well maybe I should pull that one in as well Brooklyn Thorn yeah let's do that one as well um I think that's it we'll pull this um so this is one of Maybelline's and it's in the shade 10 Nocturnal Rose so we'll pull that as well and I think that's it for now. Um, so, if I want any of the other shades, I can just pull them. My Pat McGrath palettes are all going in here now. I don't expect them to be able to all fit in here for long, but they were like kind of on this here. Sorry, they were on this, and I've kind of moved everything around. I'll show you that properly in a second. Let's just move ever so slowly. Um, so yeah, my Pat McGrath palettes now are here. These, this is everything I've got in my collection for now. So we've got the um, Bridgerton palette. We've got the Venus in Flares. We've got this one. I always forget the name to this one. Um, it's called Celestial Odyssey. And then this one is the most inexpensive palette that she does, which is called Sublime. Let's have a look. I Ecstasy Sublime. It's alright, but it's not as good as these. Um, so, yeah. That's what I've done so far. Um, and again, that's what that looks like. Let's show you what it looks like on top. Let's do an overview. 
So we've got all my lipsticks here. A lot of them just stay in, like this one stays in, this one stays in, just because they're really, really pretty to look at. Um, and then we've got the palettes back here. So we've got in the limelight, we've got the jawbreaker, mini breaker, we've got the crystal waves, and we've got my Natasha Denona palette back there. Um, we've got foundations here, my Chanel bronzer there, my primer there, lots of powder here, um, my eyeshadow base there, makeup brushes here. I got this recently, it's not gone up on the channel yet, it's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of the Patrick Tarr bronzer brush that's been brought out. I got it as a gift. Um, it's in the shade 17. It's one of Real Techniques Cashmere Dreams brushes. And I presume it's an old collection just purely because we got it from TK Maxx. Um, so let's have a look at the drawers. And then, as I said, this is like all my project pans are here. Sorry, all my makeup that are in project pan is here. And then there's some eyeshadow palettes there. There's some more brushes here. Um, and then setting sprays and mirrors back there. Um, I just feel it looks quite nice there for now anyway. It's not ideal, but yeah, I do like it. I like the way it's set up at the minute. I'll probably change around in another six months. Um, and then I'll give you a tour again um but this is it for now guys this is my shop my stash situation that we're working with for the next two weeks possibly it could go into three weeks but i don't think it will um as long as i'm wearing makeup every day um i should be able to get that done in two weeks thank you so so much for taking the time and watching this video i really do appreciate it please, please like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye guys